The Portuguese man-o-war is not a single organism, but a colonial organism composed of four main zooids that work together as a whole. Each of these zooids has its own role, but together they function for the benefit of the entire colony. I'll call it a modular organism, because each module operates independently from the others. The Portuguese man-o-war has no central nervous system, yet all actions are directed toward the survival of the colony. Without each other, none of these zooids would survive. The first module is a gas-filled bubble that keeps the colony afloat on the surface of the water. This bubble can expand and contract and adjust its angle, allowing the organism to drift with the wind. The second module consists of long tentacles up to 50 meters in length, covered with stinging cells. These tentacles are used for hunting, paralyzing passing prey, making them dangerous to encounter. The third module includes zooids responsible for digestion. They absorb the paralyzed prey and break it down into nutrients. The fourth module is made up of reproductive zooids that ensure the continuation of the species. In this way, the Portuguese man o war can be thought of as a small, captainless spacecraft, with each module fulfilling its role, all working toward one goal, the survival of the entire organism.